Hello, this is Steve Samuel bringing you a video regarding tolerance stackup analysis using parameter tables. And parameter tables is this amazing little function that allows you to quickly vary uh, expressions of a model and vary it in a spreadsheet-like manner. So what I have here is the classic situation. There's uh, two parts that have to fit together. There's something with a hole in it and something with a peg. The peg fits into the hole. I've made the hole very, very large to kind of exaggerate the whole process that we're looking at. And so if I look at the sketch that uh, I use to make the hole, uh, if I just do that, you can see that the height of the hole has a tolerance 1. It's 3 plus tolerance 1. The uh, horizontal position of the hole is uh, horizontal position, it's 1 plus tolerance 2, and the diameter is 0.7 plus tolerance 3. So now I've also got in my user expressions tolerance 1, tolerance 2, and tolerance 3. So if I want to take a look at the, uh, the MMC condition, the, the max material condition, uh, I basically have to increase or I have to subtract from the diameter of the hole. So I say minus 0.25 and you know there's your MMC. If I want LMC, I add 0.25. So that's that. And then if I want to start seeing what's the ramification of a tolerance on the height and the width of the hole, I can easily put 0.25 in here or I can say minus 0.25 and I can see that those conditions are fine um, and and so on. So if I really want to be rigorous, I've got to try. I believe there's uh, 21 different um, 21 different combinations of these three numbers, plus or minus, plus or minus, plus or minus. Um, there might be more than 21, but what I've done is I've created a spreadsheet. And the spreadsheet was easy to create because um, I could just keep copying these uh, patterns of numbers and what I he have here is um, in the first column I've got a label parameter label tolerance 1, tolerance 2, tolerance 3. I've got to have the word expression tolerance 1, tolerance 2, tolerance 3 and then I can label my conditions. So nominal condition is when everything's 0, 0, 0. MMC is when I'm subtracting from the diameter to make a smaller hole leaving more material so LMC is 0, 0, 0.25, I'm sorry, MMC, LMC is 0, 0, plus 0. 0.25. And then there's position 1 where I'm adding 0. 0.25 to uh, tolerance 1, which is the, or, or I'm adding a tolerance of 0. 0.25 to the height, um, 0. 0.25 and zeroing everything else out. And then position 5 is um, adding to the height but I'm making the hole larger, so on and so forth. Here's adding to the height and making it smaller. Here's subtracting to the height and leaving nothing. Subtracting the height, making the hole larger. Subtracting from the height, making the hole smaller, uh, etc., etc. Uh, and there's all these different combinations. I believe there's 21. I've got them labeled, and they're all in a spreadsheet. It was very easy to make the spreadsheet. I named the spreadsheet TOLS. And, uh, I, and I save that. So there you go. There's parameter, expression, and then you can label all of the different positions that you want to try, all the tolerances that you want to try. Okay, so that's the spreadsheet. I save that. And then I go to parameter tables. And in parameter tables, I can say new table from file. There's new table from file. And I search for the file and I go to tolls say OK. I say OK and I get all of these configurations. I've got the nominal, the MMC, the LMC, position 4, 5, 6, all the way to 21. Cool. And then in order to find out what happens with them, I simply double click on them. So there's nominal, there's MMC, LMC, position 1, position 5, I'm sorry, position 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, oops, 13, 14. So you can see 
how now easy it is for me to check all the tolerances. Of course, you can um, see obviously that 0.25 is very large and it makes the part fail in many, uh, in many of the positions. Not all of the positions, but almost all of them. There's one that, well, even that one fails. So now you can go in to the spreadsheet and you can start modifying the tolerances if you want. Maybe all of these shouldn't be 0.25, maybe they should be 0.125. But it's easy to modify them in the spreadsheet and then just bring in a whole new set of uh, parameters. Isn't that amazing? So that is a powerful tool. Let's go back to nominal. Whoops, let's go back to nominal like that. And um, I think that that is really an amazing and wonderful thing that has all these different possibilities. Um, and there you have it, a tolerance stack up analysis. Of course, there's the VSA tool and there's the 3DCS tool that does even much more sophisticated tolerance stack up analysis. But if you just want to do a quick thing like this, um, the uh, parameter tables is a very, very powerful tool. So I hope you use it in good health. Thanks. Again, my name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries, and please uh, check out the Design Visionaries YouTube channel for many, mo many more videos of this ilk. Thanks again.